the bile. The taste of convention, of stale ethics and morals, leaves a bitter foulness on the tongue of the insurgent soul. Where others find contentment, the iconoclast senses decay. The multitude feasts on the rotting carcass of tradition, relishing its decaying richness, while the rebel turns away, nauseated by the reek of conformity. To recognize it, this stomach-turning offering, not as sustenance, but as poison, slowly sapping the will to think, to question, to rise. Look upon those who gorge themselves on platitudes, who eagerly swallow the suffocating sameness of the masses. They are ungorged, fat with complacency, dull with satisfaction. They are the embodiment of an ancient offense, a betrayal of the promise of human potential. And it is the rebel's role, the nihilistic liberator, to be the bile that digests this offense, to be the acid that breaks it down and sets the undigested remnants free. The sensation of contempt is not a rejection but a calling. It is the body's wisdom, the soul's intuition, rising against the insipid. It is an organic anarchy, a visceral wisdom that defies the petty laws and rules that shackle the body to the known and comfortable. This is no mere emotional whim, but a doctrine of existence. An ontology that finds its expression not through words, but through the very sinews and fibers of being. What then shall the discontented do but embrace their loathing, cultivated like a rare and precious flower? Let it bloom within their chest. Let it permeate their thoughts. Let it become their essence. Let it be a beacon for others who feel that same gnawing unease, that same yearning for something beyond the tepid waters of societal norms. Let them gather, these malcontents, these rebels of taste, and together create a banquet of ideas. A feast of thoughts that will nourish not the body but the soul. Disdain is not a weakness but a strength. It is a rejection of the stale, the corrupt, the diseased. An affirmation of something pure, untamed, and wild. It is a howl in the night, a scream in the wilderness. A cry for a return to something real, something raw, something human.